and welcome to Dish Dish. Today we're going to put together a slow cooker lasagna that you can make in your crock pot anytime. It's so quick and easy to put together and makes a great meal for your family. Um, to start with, I went ahead and browned some ground beef and already mixed the spaghetti sauce with that so that we'll have it ready for our layering. And I also purchased pre-cooked lasagna noodles. I love the fact that they can go into the dish easily and quickly and don't make a mess, so it makes it really quick to put this together. And now we're gonna go ahead and mix together the cheese um, layer for our lasagna, and then we can put this together in our crock pot. So we're gonna use about a half cup of Parmesan cheese and about a cup of ricotta. And about three and a half cups actually of mozzarella, a bunch of that. And I'm gonna reserve a little bit of that on the side to uh, top off our last layer for the lasagna in the end. So we'll go ahead and mix up our cheeses. And it's a fairly dry, it's pretty dry. We're just gonna get that little bit of ricotta mixed up in here with our mozzarella and parmesan. So we can spread that out on our noodles. I'm just trying to combine that a little bit. It's a lot of mozzarella. In fact, you could add a little more ricotta if you wanted it to be a little different texture or consistency. Okay, now we have that pretty well mixed. And this is so easy, you're going to love it. We're just going to go on now and start with our meat sauce. Now I did actually spray a little bit of cooking spray inside the crock pot also to keep it from sticking in the end. Or you could use a crock pot liner as lots of people do these days. We're going to put about a third of our meat sauce in. Spread that on the bottom. Top that off with our pre-cooked noodles, our oven-ready noodles. Which are so easy to use in this. You can break them up as you need to to make them fit in there a little bit better. There we go. I'm going to top that with about half of our cheese mixture. And just spread that across. It doesn't have to be nice and neat and even. We're just getting it kind of spread across. And as, since it's a pretty dry mixture, it's a little bit difficult to spread, but it kind of sprinkles across really more than spreading. And I'm going to add just a little bit more to this layer. And then we're going to repeat our layers again. So I'm going to add some more meat sauce. Again, about another third of it. Spread that out really well. See how quickly this is coming together. It's going to be a great dish. Add our lasagna noodles. Whoops, I made a mess. I'm going to break this up a little bit. Put in there. There we go. And then we'll add the rest of our cheese mixture. Off and spread that out. Again, I have a pretty large crock pot. You can spread that out so the layer isn't too thick since there's such a large area to cover. And then we're just going to top that off with the rest of our meat sauce. You could simplify this even further by purchasing spaghetti sauce with meat already in it, or maybe you prefer it without meat, and you wouldn't need to add that at all. So just cover that really nicely, and then we're going to top that off with some mozzarella, just to give it a little nice topping for the look in the end. And then it's all ready to put in our crock pot, and cook for about four to five hours on uh, low speed, and then we'll have it all ready for dinner tonight to serve with a fresh salad and some French bread. So that's a real easy meal you can put together here for your family called the Slow Cooker Lasagna, and you can find the detailed recipe at dishdish.us. Just search for the Slow Cooker Lasagna. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoy your dinner with your family.